Hey, what's going on, Sports Press fans? Ray from Philly here. It is Thursday, May 26th, and I picked up a package actually a couple weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to open it, and every once in a while, I uh, will dabble in the modern market, a player currently playing today. Yes, I, co I collect vintage cards, PSA set registries. That's my number one thing that I do, but I will look into current players that... I feel have a shot at the Hall of Fame. Uh, I usually don't really get into players that have been in the league, say, less than five years. It's just a little too early. Um, so I'm looking at mainly players that's rookie cards are, say, before 16 or 17 and, and further back. So this player, um, I, I, at first I never really thought this player was had a decent shot. Of getting in but his numbers have been consistent throughout his whole career and he's been a great player so I'm going to do a comparison with him and another current player who everybody believes this other player has got a really good shot to get in he's he this other player is Joey Votto and Joey Votto is in the PSA future Hall of Fame set registry uh, because a lot of members of PSA and a lot of fans out there believe he's definitely on the verge and, and deservedly so. He, he, I think he has a really good shot uh, to get in. But this player, if I can get this uh, sandwich open here, this player I think is, I think slightly better than him. <laughs> and that's the 2011 Tops update of Mr. Paul Goldschmidt and a Gem Mint 10, PSA 10. And this is when he started his career with the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's just been a great player, consistent through every every year. It's just been great. Um, so I'm going to do a comparison with him and Votto. Um, he's just been consistently 30 homers, about 175 hits, over 300 average almost every year. So this is his 12th year in the in the uh, major leagues, and Votto for Votto, this is his 17th year. So. Vado definitely has more numbers than him because he's playing a lot longer, but uh, we're going to just do a comparison of what Vado was at at, the, at his 12th year, which was five years ago. So again, here's the 2011, and this 2011 Topps update is becoming slowly but surely an iconic set. You have the Mike Trout rookie, the Goldschmidt rookie, and there's some other all-star caliber players. Uh, Jose Altuve, who some say might have a shot at the Hall of Fame. Anthony Rizzo's in there. There's a lot, um, a, a lot of really great players are in there. So I'm going to flip the phone around, give you guys a closer look at the 2011 Tops Update Paul Goldschmidt rookie. Also, before I, I flip the phone around, I want to remind everybody about the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. We're entering in, next week is the final week. We're in the fourth and final week. It ends next Friday, June the 3rd. We're over, last time I checked, uh, we're at 303 votes, which is really good. Last year, we, we finished at 500 votes. So I would like to see us uh, match that again this year. So I'm going to post the link down below for all you to go out there and vote, vote, vote for the, your favorite baseball card to get into the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. It's this year is the fifth annual. So it's been growing every year. So make sure you do that. You have a week left to go. Uh, I also want to thank Dr. James Beckett for uh, coming on to the, our channel here to do the his ballot. And he posted a podcast, a, a three-part series on his channel. So thank you very much, Dr. Beckett. So don't forget to vote for the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. So now let's flip the phone around and get a closer look at what could be future Hall of Famer Paul Goldschmidt. So hold on. Okay, and we're back. Closer look here at the 2011 Tops Update Paul Goldschmidt. Gem Mint 10. So, yeah, every, you know, there's certain players that I'll invest in that's currently playing that, uh, you know, I, I don't think Goldschmidt's going to get to 500 homers. Um, I think he has a 50 50 shot at 3,000 hits, but his numbers overall by the end of his career are going to be way above average, I think. And we're going to go over those numbers right now. Uh, but I just want to give a closer look at this Paul Goldschmidt rookie. 2011 tops update great design that year it's it's becoming an iconic set 
So hold on now, I'm gonna go over to the laptop and let's do some number comparisons with him and I'll even throw in Freddie Freeman, do a comparison with him and Freeman, so hold on. Okay, so here we are once again, we're back and I six-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger Award winner, and a four-time Gold Glove Award winner. His total career numbers are 1,627 career hits, 287 home runs, a 294 career batting average, 964 runs scored, 960 RBIs. Stolen bases, I'm surprised, 143, which is pretty good. And uh, a 52.8 career war, a 143 OPS plus. So if you look at his overall statistics, he did lead the league in homers in 13 and led the league in RBI. He's hit over 30 homers in a season, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times. He's finished in the top 10 in the MVP voting since 2013, five times. So he's been a top 10 player in all of the National League for the past five times in the last, you know, eight, nine years. So you go down here to do a comparison, and let's start with Mr. Votto. Joey, Joey Votto, Joey Votto. And here we are. So, of course, Goldschmidt is in his 12th season, and Votto's in his 17th. But if you look at the numbers, the hits, 1627 for Goldschmidt, 2042 for Votto. So we're talking less than 500 hits. 357 doubles for Goldschmidt, 438 for Votto. 287 home runs for Goldschmidt, 333 for Votto. And Goldschmidt will get his 300th this year. He's only 13 homers away from reaching 300. So... If you go back to Goldschmidt's numbers, like I said, he has 1627 hits. This is Votto's got 2042, and I think Votto will probably play one, maybe two more years. So I could see Votto finishing his career with around 23, maybe 2400 career hits. He might topple 400 homers. And everyone believes that he is a maybe not first ballot Hall of Famer, but a Hall of Famer. Now, if you go back to Goldschmidt, like I said, he's averaging 175 hits a season. If he continues that for the next five seasons and he's at Votto's age then, he has 16, 27 hits now. 175 hits a season for the next five seasons gets him uh, 875 more hits, which would get him above 2,500 hits. And Votto probably won't even get that by the end of his career. So... And I think Goldschmidt will continue to play longer than five years from now. So overall, my prediction is that if Goldschmidt has 287 homers right now, I could see him toppling about 420. And the hits, I don't think we'll get 3,000, but I could see 26, 2700 career hits. Who knows? He might hang around and add some more numbers and compile and reach 3,000. Who knows? We shall see. I think it's a good time to invest in someone like Paul Goldschmidt. I really do. Uh, and one last look. Let me get the lighting set here on the 2011 Tops Update Paul Goldschmidt rookie. I try and find players that are on a trajectory for certain milestones or at least get into the possibly the Hall of Fame. And there you have it. So tomorrow night I'll be back. Big video tomorrow night for the 300 great baseball cards of the 20th century by Mike Payne. Recently I showed my 200th card. Tomorrow will be my 201st. Moving right along. And don't forget to vote for the Baseball Card Hall of Fame. The uh, voting ends next Friday, June the 3rd. The link is down below. Vote, vote, vote. We want to get to 500 again. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow night. Take care, and like I always say, have fun with it.